morning. Um, I thought I would do another day in the life today because we've got lots to do with the dogs. It's about 8.30 now and I've just got out of the bath and got dressed. I will get ready in a bit. I'm just having a cup of tea and the dogs are just mooching about. I stupidly forgot to defrost their food last night so I had to put it out at like 7 this morning. So they're going to have to wait till like half 9 before it's defrosted but that's okay. We've got today physio with Nemo at 10 and then we've got a different field booked for 3.30 so we'll take you there. Um, and in between that I've just got work and calls and stuff so very boring but what I thought I would start with is showing you some of the things that we've had to get for Nemo following his hip dysplasia diagnosis if you've not seen that video then I'll pop a link somewhere so that you can go and watch it so we've got a few things that we had to buy that was recommended to us so one of those things is the the U-move joint support so we've got essential joint support plus and this was on a really good deal. So the first 60 tablets you get for £5. After that, I think it's like £21 or something. So it's really good that they let you sort of, I guess, trial it. But we'll keep doing them anyway. I mean, I'm not sure we're going to see much of a difference after 60 days. But it's about the supplements helping him grow. So what I did realise when I got them, though, I'm not sure where it says it on the packet. I don't know if it does say it on the packet. Oh yeah. So for the first four to six weeks, you double the daily recommendation. So it says small dogs up to 15 kilograms have one tablet. So Nemo is 4.3 kilograms. Um, so I'm giving him two tablets because that's what it says. But I probably could have given him one tablet and then go down to a half after four to six weeks. But either way, so that's what he's on. We also bought a new bag for him because his other one was too small. He didn't really like going in it anymore. He's got his buggy, but just for like when you go on the beach and stuff, you can't really take the buggy. So we got this bag and turned out it was huge, but it's fine. It still does the job. And it was really cheap. It was like £12 plus postage. So I'll show you that. So here's the bag. And it's super comfy inside. It's like a fleece, fleece material. So yeah, that was like £12. We're trying to save money a bit. And it's by me and my pets. So I'll show you the logo in case you want to get it. There you go. So yeah, look how good that is. So he just goes in like that. Perfect. Perfect for a long bodied dog anyway, because it's very long. <laughs> Um, and the other thing is that we have changed, you might have seen in our previous videos that we had sort of like wrestling mats down. That's what I call them. They're non-slip mats, I think, but I call them wrestling mats because they wrestle on them. Um, we've swapped all of those for rugs now. Um, Nemo is house trained now, so... Oh, you want to come over? Come on. This is Fenty. Hello. You want to see who I'm talking to? Um, Nemo's house trained now, so we thought we'd just risk it and get some rugs, but... I'll let you, I'll feed back on what happens with that. We're a couple, I don't know how long, like a week in now, um, and we're doing okay. So we have got a rug cleaner if we need to, but I'll show you what rug we got. It's like one that you can put in the washing machine, so perfect for Daxies. So we got this rug, which takes up a load of the floor, which is good. Excuse me, what are you digging for? Hello. Um, yeah, so when he comes down on his from his ramp or things like that, he's not landing on hard surfaces, he's on carpet so that's perfect and then we've got one in the hallway as well I'll go and show you that again I've only got ones that you can chuck in the washing machine because you never know when they might decide to not be house trained so we've got this one too so everywhere he goes he's got a little rug so yeah we've got physio in a bit so I will see you there I'm not sure how much I can film of that but I will I'll ask her anyway obviously I'll probably put a disclaimer at the beginning of it that this is all, all of the physio exercises would have been put together specifically for his needs. So obviously don't go copying them at home, but I'll probably put a disclaimer just in case. See you later.
guys, we've just arrived at the clinic, got to get my face mask on, and then we'll go in and do physio. So I haven't checked in since we got back from physio because I've just been working, I took some calls in the van and then I came home and then I've just been working since. Um, but it's about 10 past two now and then, oh, do you want to get down? So it's about 10 past two now and we're just waiting for three o'clock to go to the field and hopefully the dogs will have a little swim at the field as well. So the physio went really well. She was really happy with Nemo. Um, he definitely wasn't as bad as the last time he went before the x-rays and medication and everything else. <laughs> um she's given us some new exercises which aren't so much pressure on the back hips which we will be working on daily and yeah she seemed really happy with him so that made me happy she said his hip dysplasia looked really mild and we only need to see her every four weeks so we will book in again soon um but for now we've just got those exercises to do and that's it Yummy! Little monkey that's missing her treat. Eva! Excuse me, do you want that? Uh -oh. <laughs> Evening. So it is now 5.30 p.m. The dogs have been for a walk, they've had their dinner and I am just cooking our dinner and I think I'm gonna end the video here. A few people asked me to show our evening routine but there's not really much to our evening routine after a walk and dinner and um, generally speaking it's just lounging then so they lounge on us, go out to the toilet at about 7, go out again at about 10, 
and then we go to sleep. There's not really a lot to show of the evening routine, but if we have a more interesting evening one time, then I'll film that. And I'll film some clips of us lounging to put at the end of this video, but other than that, not a lot to tell. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, then please subscribe and comment below. And if there's anything else within our day that you would like to see more of or get more detail on, then please let me know. Um, and as always, I will sign it off by saying it is Dachshund, not Dash Hound, not Dachshund, Dachshund. Cheers, guys.